Hi people, this is Lisa. I'm I'm crying. Um This is my these are my geraniums which I, I enjoyed so much this summer and while we were away on vacation, uh there were violent windstorms in Paris and um the whole former flower pot blew down into the concierge's area and smashed. But I gave him a five euro tip, by the way. He collected a couple of my plants, which had blown down. And in fact, we've moved uh, the planters to the front, uh, where there's like this little shitty terrace out here. And um, I'm not showing my face because I, I look like crap this morning. And um, I haven't been very well. I'm, I'm going to see a doctor this morning. And. Uh, I just had a talk with my husband, and um, thank you. I've been getting some very nice messages for people. I'm kind of desperate here, and I'm feeling like really suicidally low, and and that's not good. I also started drinking recently and smoking cigarettes again, and that's got to stop. I I did. My husband was actually rather kind to me this morning before he just went out. And, um, what's going on is I feel really, uh, I'm having a lot of time dealing with this severance from my job. And it's been nine years that I've been with this job. And they are really fuck ups and screw heads. And they have totally messed up my work. And so I have to go now, and the amount of money that they're offering me to leave is just ridiculously low. So he's thinking about it, and we're going to send them a registered letter shortly and say no, you know, it, it has to be a bit higher than that. In fact, I, I was able to collect them, collect from them quite a bit of money that they owed me, which they never told me that they owed me. And they never would have unless I had thought to put it in writing, which my husband insisted I do, you know. And I had, I think of my my ex fiance in New York, and he had a very hard life and a, a hard childhood. And he said that it wasn't the bad memories that hurt him the most, it was the good memories. <laughs> It was like all so bittersweet, and I've just been thinking about all the good times I had at the work and how much I liked it, and how good it was for me to work with so many French clients and coach them and teach them and train them, and they taught me, you know. I, I was able to find out why French people uh, to a large extent on an individual basis are the way they are and it, it's helped me integrate better into this country and I was earning m honest money and I, I guess I just feel really really sad that m my employer was so abusive to me from day one you know this is like year after year of this crap working in horrible conditions and really not being able to do anything about it and everybody was just accepting it you know the the clients could see that i was being mistreated and that the work conditions were were vile i mean one client in all those years some arab guy in i forget the name of the town bought me a cup of tea once from a vending machine and that was the only thing I ever had from any of these clients except that they really liked me and a lot of them are still asking for me and the employer is just so messed up and I've been really hurt by this worse than I thought I could be you know I'm 56 years old and I should be stronger Look at these pigeons out here. They're not looking so good, are they? I should be stronger and more grown up, but 
I feel like very sad and sorry about this and I'm not handling it very well you know uh, so I'm going to go see a doctor this morning and I've got this hernia which is untreatable and it's, it's inoperable and uh, I saw another doctor the other day and she said well you need some more blood tests and stuff. I feel very weak and dizzy. Um, I feel very depressed, really. Um, this is just this is just a rough time for me. Thanks for listening. Bye.